Hello my sweets, welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so today I was inspired to do something with butterflies. I love butterflies and I feel like most women do. So I hope you enjoy this video. To get started, we're gonna use these little wooden plaques from the Dollar Tree. They are fairly new to the Dollar Tree. Um, I haven't really seen them around, but just once time uh, but I think they're bringing them in more and more and here I'm leaving you the information in case you want to go get them for yourself so I did go ahead and pick up three of them and of course you just want to remove everything from the back now I went ahead I needed some purple uh, I ended up with some you know like an eggplant color I really don't mind I ended up mixing a few colors that I already had go ahead and paint your butterflies um, whichever color that you like so I'm gonna go ahead and do it in the front and in the back and in between and just cover the surface I pretty much gave it one coat uh, because we are gonna cover them but the and if you kind of cover both sides then you want to go ahead and maybe give it two coats but I was just gonna do it on the design on the one side then I chose to do one a lighter blue like you see here as you can see we have all three the last one I decided to do a gold so we're gonna get started with our purple like as you can see I ended up with an eggplant color which kind of matches this um, crushed glass this beautiful crushed glass that I found at Michaels It's kind of like a lavender purple and also at Michaels I picked up a little while ago this kind of iridescent gems that you see here in a teardrop and little circles it has that little iridescent hue to it now these hairpins I found at the Dollar Tree recently, so I'm gonna go ahead and obviously use the purple ones, the bigger one and the smaller ones here, and I'm just gonna tug back and forth, and I'm gonna use a little plier, that sort of thing, and I'm just gonna remove them from the little hairpin, and that's what we're going to use. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna situate it the way that I want. Obviously I put the larger one in the middle one, in the middle there and then the smaller ones on either end so this is a good opportunity for you guys to use all those little loose jewelry pieces that you have and put them to good use here I am just applying those iridescent gems every so often on my butterfly or you know the design that I want and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them on If you guys love butterflies please let me know down below um, I think they're just so pretty I think it's one of God's beautiful creations are the butterfly and just the whole process on how they become a butterfly they're a caterpillar and that's so forth that I think that that is just amazing to me so for this part right here we are using hot glue I know I know a lot of people use the Mod Podge I'm not a fan of the Mod Podge although in this occasion I do regret not using it um, I think the hot glue is great but I think that the stones do fall, fall off and they have a better chance of staying on with the Mod Podge so go ahead and use that but I decided to go ahead and continue on throughout the whole video and use my hot glue that kind of worked out but in the end I had to cover it with uh, maybe one or two coats of the Mod Podge but if you start out that way then you know they won't fall out as much So now moving on to our gold one, I found this little pack of um, little jewels. They're kind of like a golden gold. I found them in Joanne. I think they're so pretty and I think uh, I thought that they would be perfect for this particular one. Um, my little butterfly here that I spray painted kind of like a gold. And so I'm just kind of positioning them in the way that I want. This is a good opportunity to get creative you guys um, you know like I said with your jewelry pieces a little broken jewelry pieces that you guys have stashed away that you're always meaning to get fixed but you never do and so why not put them to use and I think um, they are very uh, flexible in trying to uh, 
create different designs that you want so i really like these gems because they have kind of like a different unique shape to them so i thought that they went perfectly with what i'm trying to do with this butterfly right here So now we're using this crushed glass from Michaels. This one is also beautiful. It kind of has like that undertone gold with a little champagne. If you can look closely, it is so, so beautiful. So I think this is my favorite, I have to say. I do love all three, but if I had to choose one, it would be this one. And I think the color that you decide to paint it in the background could really make a difference. I think the fact that this was painted in a gold undertone and then you put this crushed glass on top with the stones really made it pop and I think it's just beautiful. So now from Michaels I found that box of yellow kind of gold yellow undertone gems. I had never seen them before. I saw them and I picked them up because I thought they were beautiful and they match perfectly with the larger stones that I've already placed on my butterfly. So now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the smaller ones and placing them every so often just to give it a little extra something. And this is what it's looking like so far, it's gorgeous. So now moving to our last butterfly, our blue one. Again, I'm going to use this kind of icy blue light gray um, crushed glass and then this is the blue pin that came in the pack and I'm using the, that box of iridescent gems also from Michaels and um, obviously I'm going to place a larger one in the middle and then that those other teardrop ones and if you see in the corner there those blue stone those gems those acrylic gems those are from the Dollar Tree um, you can also use those so those are also an alternative I also had those in my stash but in the end I remember I had these uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that these right here Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up like you always do I so appreciate you guys giving me those thumbs up they really keep me motivated and as i always say they always let me know that you guys want more videos like this so thank you so much um go ahead and give me those thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't i would really love to have you and for those that are subscribed to you you know what i always say i appreciate you i know exactly who you are so thank you thank you so so much so i went ahead and continued to embellish my butterfly with those gems and now lastly i'm going to go ahead and you know place my ice oh ice my crushed glass rather it kind of looks like ice um, my crushed glass and I didn't show this in the video but I did with some wire create some um, antennas for each of my you know butterflies and because uh, I, I realized I was like they don't have antennas okay so I went ahead and I created some with some wire that I had and you will see that coming up And this is the end result you guys look at my favorite one the yellow one they're all gorgeous honestly but this one is just beautiful and if you look closely I decided to actually it was my husband's idea I'm gonna give him credit for that he's like you know what it needs a little something why don't you just put in a little glitter in there so the purple one I had some iridescent glitter and I also applied a little extra gems right there as you can see and then the blue one I went ahead and applied some silver glitter and then the yellow one golden yellow butterfly I had some gold glitter and I decided to sprinkle that there and I do think and agree with my husband that it gave it that little extra oomph that it needed and so I think they are gorgeous and like I said I created the little um, antennas that they needed so this is a way that you can uh, display them. They're on little, those Dollar Tree easels right there. You can do that or coming right up, I'm going to show you, you can do, you can, you know, use some command strips and place these on a wall, like a little collage, maybe one uh, next to each other. You can place them like this, like I just mentioned, or you can put one in a frame 
like I have these nice mirrored frames that kind of square mirrored frames um, I just thought about this afterwards they would look beautiful one in each one I have three of them that, that's also gorgeous and now here I'm showing you how they are laying on this very large mirror and so that's another way you can glue them on securely onto this long mirror and then display it on a wall so there's just so much that you can do with this they're just so beautiful I think that um, they will make any space look beautiful you can put this on your vanity tray let me know if you're going to recreate this uh, if you really want to go ahead and keep a lookout for these butterflies that have just arrived recently at Dollar Tree and I would love to see what you create with yours and what color scheme you're gonna go with let me know your thoughts on this DIY I would really love to hear from you as I always do and um, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did and I'll see you on the next one bye everyone